And this year I was very proud to be able to showcase my own Sterling High School Commission piece. I painted a portrait of Walt Whitman to showcase his importance in our town and show how proud I am to practice my art in the same town he wrote Leaves of Grass. And I play field hockey, basketball, and lacrosse at Sterling High School. I also am part of World Culture Club and Spanish Club. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. So to start off, I'm wearing my softball pants and my softball socks because I've played since I was four years old. And for my career, I have always been interested in art and cre creativity. And for um, my career, I'm going to Jefferson University for industrial design. Language, being bilingual is very important in the business world, so I do plan on becoming fluent in Spanish and learning a little bit of Mandarin Chinese. This year, I had the most amazing opportunity to be able to travel a little bit around my, out of my comfort zone and go on this school trip to Italy and Switzerland. This was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. Small towns provide a homey feeling that larger ones cannot provide. I love that no matter how old I get, Whenever I leave the house, I see people that I've known forever. It's been extremely beneficial to me to live in a close-knit community because I have been able to grow tremendously with the support of my friends and family only minutes away from my home. If you could meet any woman from history, who would it be and why? I believe I would want to meet one of my great-great-grandmothers. Um, I'd like to know how they helped out our family and how we got to where we are now. I guess I'd meet anyone that would fight for the freedom that they always wanted all of their lives. There's so many women in history that I possibly could not pick one. Michelle Obama, just because she's a very independent, strong woman, and she gets the job done, whatever needs to get done, and that's what I would like to do when I grow up. And the second runner-up is Samantha Bruce. <laughs> First runner-up 2019 is Caitlin Becker. Doris, is there a winner? We will present to you Miss Laurel Springs of 2019, Riley, who have I known since a little tiny tot. <laughs> Congratulations, Riley Mulway. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I would like to present to you taking her first walk as Miss Laurel Springs 2019, Miss Riley Mulway. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending tonight's pageant. 